Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be converting true north to compass north. Now it's important you understand the difference first. True north, true north is the thing on the map. The, our maps are all done with north. Here's, a, I'll just draw up a north arrow here. Now that north, it points towards uh, true north. It points towards the top of the apple. But the problem is that our compass doesn't point towards the top of the apple, the compass where we're going to use our, our that's going to guide us to where we're going. So if here's our map, our boat wants to travel towards the target. Maybe it's the pier, maybe it's a good fishing spot, whatever it might be. So if our boat wants to travel towards that target, we can't just measure that that angle, which I'll I'll do here. There's my north line. Now I'm going to measure that angle. Um, well, I'm not because I, I don't feel like it. But I'm going to tell you that it's 47 degrees. Now, if we jump in our boat and we go on a bearing of 47 degrees, we get our compass out and we, we map the bearing and we go on 47 degrees, we're not going to hit our target because we're following magnetic compass north or magnetic north when we should be following true north. So we need to convert. Okay, so... Uh, from our last little video, you guys will remember that we calculated, using that compass rose, we calculated the uh, magnetic variation to be 11 degrees and 2 minutes. 11 degrees and 2 minutes. Now, it was a magnetic variation of 11 degrees 2 minutes east. So, if we're converting from true north to compass north, there's a really easy rule of thumb that we use here. Um, compass east least west best. So least means subtract and best means add. So if our compass variation is east, we have to subtract. If our compass variation is west, we have to add. So for this particular question, our uh, compass bearing is going to be equal to the true north bearing, which is 47, minus, because we have a variation that's east, minus 11 degrees and 2 minutes. Oh, well, I should have written in my formula here, minus the variation. Okay, so that's going to be equal to the true, which is 47, minus 11 degrees and 2 minutes. And there's a way to do this on your calculator, which I hopefully have a calculator and I can show you how to do that. Uh, so you can see I've already done it on my calculator here. I'll just show you how to do this. You go 47, uh, click option, more options, and there's an angle option. And you can click the degree button here. Minus 11 degrees and to just press that button again minutes now when I press enter here it's going to give me a decimal answer and you press this button here to convert it back to degrees okay so 35 degrees and 58 minutes okay so you need to stop and think about what this means here I'll just get rid of that oh, I'll leave that calculator there actually Okay, so what that means for us, whoops, what this means for us is that if we want, to, if we're in our boat and we see this target and we see on our map that the bearing from the boat to the target is 47 degrees, our actual compass bearing that we should follow is 
35 degrees, 58 minutes. Sorry, I shouldn't say if we're in our boat looking at the target. If we're in our boat looking at the target, that's pretty simple. We just sail towards the, the boat, the target. If we're looking at a map, if we're looking at a map and we see that that is a 47 degree angle, then when we're in our boat, we're going to have to sail actually on this angle. All right, that's it. That's uh, converting true north to compass north. Uh, now, if you want to convert the other way, these two rules, east, west, they just get reversed. So it gets a little bit confusing there, but this is the main way that you're going to have to convert here. You're going to convert um, true north to compass north, most likely, because you're going to look at a map and then you're going to have to navigate using that map. So this is the most likely scenario when it comes to converting between true north and compass north. All right, thanks, guys.